Hello YouTube, N3SDO here again. I'd like to share some observations of a simple spectrum analyzer, model D6, that was purchased off the internet. Compare it to a DVB-T USB spectrum analyzer. Now the D6 is a wider frequency range device, and it also has a tracking generator. I had intended it to be primarily used as a signal source for analyzing filters and duplexers and some occasional spectrum an analysis and analyzing signals that have been bothering myself at home uh, on my two meter setup or some of the local repeaters. You can pick this unit up for about fifty to sixty dollars on uh, one of your favorite eBay auction sites or uh, resellers. They all seem to be uh, pretty much the same product. The one I got, there was no software with the unit. It needed to be downloaded off of uh, the banggood.com website and installed onto the PC. Now you have to remove some of the Chinese characters that are in the file name in order to get it to load on uh, an American Windows computer. I'm also comparing it to the DVB-T FM tuner. Now I've got the uh, D6 hooked up to the laptop here. Uh, I've got the uh, Win NWT4 program running. And what you notice there's a small blinking LED on it. Now I've got a SMA to BNC cable that I hook up uh, to the device on the input and then have that connected to uh, an external quarter wave ground plane antenna. Now I'm looking at uh, kind of a wide range sweep here, seeing some strong pager signals, which are, uh, I know, very, very strong in my neighborhood. They're S9 plus 60, even with a 20 decibel attenuator on. But uh, not seeing anything of the FM broadcast band. There's no stereo signals to be seen on this device. So I'm suspecting it's fairly hard of hearing. There is a little something going on in the 220 band. I don't know if that is a harmonic or if there's actually a signal that's in there. I haven't investigated it real deeply. But uh, another thing I was noticing, I've zoomed in a little bit here, and it looks like there's two signals side by side here. That's not actually the case. What you're seeing is just one signal with the digital modulation but you're seeing both the uh, upper sum and the lower sum that sort of makes this M-shape waveform. This is uh, kind of characteristic of a direct conversion receiver, that you get uh, the local oscillator minus your frequency of interest, then you get a zero beat, then you get the signal minus the local oscillator as the local oscillator sweeps up higher and gives you this characteristic uh, M. But if you've got two nearby signals, you notice uh, on the display here it seems to just disappear uh, the uh, zero beat because you've got uh, two signals together. It can sort of make it difficult to determine what signal you've got. Now here I'm feeding it with a cleaner signal from uh, my MFJ antenna analyzer. And you can see uh, the shape of the, the M of the waveform, the pass band, and then the zero beat. Now the zero beat is actually the frequency of your carrier wave. If you uh, tune it up and down a little bit, you can see it move around. But if you look in the very center where it goes down to almost nothing in the middle of the M, that is your actual uh, carrier frequency in there, which sort of is counterintuitive of, of a device you'd expect on the carrier. You'd see more signal. So I'm going to switch over to the DVB-T tuner and spectrum analyzer. Software I'm using is the GQRX software, and I'm running it on an older Apple iMac. Uh, uh, the unit uh, seems to work quite well. It is a good deal more sensitive and uh, considerably more selective. And you can see uh, some of the pager transmitters there. The one actually looks like uh, it's sending a Morse code signal. 
And then the other ones, uh, they'll come on and notice the, the modulation as they move back and forth a little bit, and then they'll shut off and then come back on. But you can uh, easily identify what signal is happening and the frequency that it's on much easier than you can with the D6. The disadvantage that the DVB has is it's got a much more limited bandwidth. You're only uh, able to see about a 3 megahertz spectrum. Where the D6, you can sweep this thing in one shot from 35 megahertz to 4400 uh, megahertz or 4.4 gig in one shot or in a continuous sweep. Now if you also notice on the iMac behind, you can see the local oscillator of the D6 actually being picked up by the uh, DVB device. As you've got just a blip that moves from left to right in there. That's the uh, uh, local oscillator inside the simple spectrum analyzer D6. Now what the uh, SSA D6 lacks in its sensitivity, it more than uh, more than effectively makes up for having the tracking generator on there and being able to do some filter measurements. So watch for my second video when we test some filters and do some antenna SWR checks. 73s and 3SDO.